Hi there guys. Um, so today we're going to continue looking at word problems. Uh, we're going to look at one more type of word problem. Uh, so this one is often easier for a lot of people. Um, and basically it's just some problems that we can't really organize as mixture problems. Okay, So they are somewhat like mixtures but they're a little bit more simple so we won't use a chart. Okay. So here's an example. So last season, two running backs on the Steelers football team rushed for a combined total of 1,550 yards. One of them rushed four times as many yards as the other. How many yards were rushed by each one? Okay. So what we're going to do is instead of setting up a chart, we're just going to start setting up our equations from the statements that we can read. Okay. So it says that two running backs, okay, rushed for a combined total of 1550 yards so what are and the question is how many yards were rushed by each one okay so that means we need let statements okay so we're gonna say let x represent the number of yards rushed by one of them okay and we're going to let y represent the number of yards rushed by the other. So it doesn't matter which one's which, right? Um, now, so we know that the total is 1550. So that's going to give us the equation x plus y is 1550. Okay, and now we've talked about the fact that uh, one equation, if we have two variables, is not enough to solve a system. So that means we need some more information, and we can see that one of them rushed four times as many as the other. Okay, so that means that x is going to be 4y. Okay, now if you want, you could have thought of the equation y is equal to 4x. Okay. That's okay. All that happens is that then my x will have rushed for more and your y will have rushed for more. So that really doesn't matter. Okay. So um, now all we have to do is we have to solve the system. And how are we going to do that? Well, this is actually perfectly set up for substitution, right? So instead of x plus y, I'm going to say 4y plus y is equal to. 1550. Okay, so that means 5y is 1550. All right, so that means y is equal to 310. And that means that we can sub that into this equation and say x is equal to 4 times 310. All right, which means x is 12. 40. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to make a statement that's in terms of our problem, right? So we got to put it back to context. Okay, so the question was how much did each of them rush for? And our answer is going to be so one guy rushed for 310 yards. And the other for twelve hundred and forty yards. Okay, so that's that. We've answered the question, right? The question is how many yards were rushed by each one. We said one guy rushed three ten, the other one twelve forty. So we're done. So here's the other one. Uh, the sum of two numbers is 106. So this one is really stripped down to its bare bones. So it just says the sum of two numbers is 106, and one number is 44 smaller than the other one. What are the two numbers? Okay. So the information that we have here is um, we've got the sum is 106, and one number is 44 smaller than the other. Okay. So let's see what that means. So first of all, we're going to let x represent one number okay and we're gonna let y represent the other okay so if the sum of the two numbers is 106 
Well, that means x plus y is 106. And if one number is 44 smaller than the other, then that must mean that x minus 44 would be y, right? So that means that this number is 44 smaller than that one, okay? So now, as you can see, we've set this up again um, to be substituted. And I'm going to let you do that and come with that answer to class tomorrow. All right, so that's all, and I'll see you next time.